Sonic Classic Collection is a 2010 compilation of various Sonic the Hedgehog games from the Sega Genesis. Developed by Creative Assembly and published by Sega for the Nintendo DS, the game received generally positive reviews upon release. A limited edition, exclusive to Spain and Australia, was released concurrently alongside the standard version of the game. The limited edition comes with a tin box containing the base game, a Sonic figurine, and five postcards of Sonic artwork. Topic overview Sonic Classic Collection contains Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, and Sonic and & Knuckles. Lock-on modes from the original Sonic & Knuckles cartridge are fully implemented and playable. The ability to save and load at any point, a feature not found in the original games, is also present. Alongside the main game's early artwork of the Sonic series is viewable. Topic. Development On November 11, 2009, the BBFC classified Sonic Classic Collection, accidentally announcing the game early. Two videos, one about Sonic Chronicles, The Dark Brotherhood and the other about the history of the Sonic franchise, were listed as content present within the game. These were presumably cut, as they are not featured in the final version of the game. Sonic Classic Collection was formerly announced by Sega on December 1, 2009 through a press release. During development, Sega had hired Stefan Dietrich to be a lead programmer for the game. Stefan had created a Sega Genesis emulator for the Nintendo DS named Genesis, and Sonic Classic Collection runs on a modified version of the emulator in which screen size has been cropped to properly fit the top screen. In 2015, a former Creative Assembly employee featured Sonic Classic Collection illustrations on his portfolio. Among the artwork were icons for Sonic Spinball, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, and Sonic 3D Blast. These games were not present in the final release. Topic: Reception. Sonic Classic Collection received mixed reviews according to review aggregator Metacritic. Critics generally agreed that the compilation was fun and that the games could still be enjoyable after their original release. However, critics criticized the emulation for the iffy frame rate present in all the games, and, although the game never slows down to the extent of Sonic's infamous Game Boy Advance outing, it's a fact that the DS shouldn't be struggling with these games. More points of contention were the lack of multiplayer and how loading a file just kicks you back to the start of the level that you were playing. A lack of extras was another complaint, as they were described as extremely little. To get excited about, and how it had, only the basics of legacy material like character art. <laughs> 